All right, hey everyone. Uh, thanks for coming and welcome to the KSU Convocation Center. I'm Joseph Feldman, Assistant Director of Athletics Communications. Um, today we'll be having comments from our Director of Athletics, Vaughn Williams, and our new head basketball coach. Um, following those, we'll have photo opportunities and then in the interest of time, uh, we won't be taking questions at the podium today, but they'll be made available for one-on-ones for about 10 minutes afterwards. I would now like to introduce Vaughn Williams to introduce the sixth head men's basketball coach at Kennesaw State University. How's everybody doing today? Good, good. I want to thank everybody for being here today. Another, another great day uh, in our nation that I'm very excited about. Uh, I am just excited. But a lot of things going on. First of all, uh, I want to have a couple thank yous. I definitely want to thank uh, everybody for being here. Obviously, you got to thank uh, Dr. Daniel Papp for letting us do what we do here in athletics. I definitely want to thank uh, a lot of people that were involved in the process. We had an advisory committee. I want to thank them. I definitely want to thank our basketball team. Uh, this is what it's about. It's about our student athletes, and I want to thank them. It's been a, a couple of six weeks. I want to thank the coaches as well that have taken over. Uh, during that time, and I'm, I'm just very, very appreciative of how the basketball program has done things first class over the, the period of time. Uh, I also want to congratulate, it's been a great spring, and congratulate all of our coaches. We've had a great spring thus far. Uh, last night, obviously, women's golf going to an NCAA regional uh, out in San Antonio, men's golf with selection show next week. Uh, softball is, you know, up there at second or third. Baseball is fighting to get up to the first. Uh, track is doing well. Both tennis teams have done a great job this spring getting into the tournament. So progress, progress, progress. I want to thank all of our coaches for what they do every day and obviously uh, the student athletes. Hopefully we will have the same academic success that we've had over the course of the last three and a half years. Uh, the other part is you know, amazing things have happened, spring football games, all those different things have happened. And uh, over the course of time, uh, you know, we continue to try to do everything we can to be the best Kennesaw State that we can be. And that's what this is about, about impacting lives and being the best uh, for a university that's doing unbelievable things that we're just trying to catch up. We're just trying to catch up, okay? So, we're here because of a person. We're here because of the men's basketball program. And I will tell you this, um, this is an exciting moment as we move forward with this individual. You know, I think you need, you need a couple of things if you're going to be successful. And I think you need people, you need partnerships, and you need possibilities. And you got to have the people. And we've got a lot of great people in this community, a lot of great people in this department, a lot of great people that work for this institution. And they need partnerships, and we all need to do things and be the team. And they need possibilities, and you can do anything that you can when you have possibilities. We've got great coaches here, and we started the process not too long ago to find the next head coach of the men's basketball program. So what was the profile? What do we look for? What we look for, what we always look for, someone that can do multiple of things, someone that student athletes will look up to, someone that knows how to teach, someone that wants to impact lives. Someone that's going to do it the right way. Someone that cares more about the team than themselves. Someone that's going to care about Kennesaw State and wearing the black and gold. And so we looked through things. The second part of that was we wanted to make sure, and this process, this time around, if we could find someone that had been there and done that, some seasoned veteran, so to speak, Someone that had n not hypothesized on how to win, but for this program, someone that had won. Somebody that has graduated players. Somebody that has been to the NCAA tournament. Somebody has, that student athletes love playing for. Someone that is well respected in the basketball community. So we wanted that type of leader. And we found them. I want to thank all the candidates as well. They're a tremendous candidate. The pool was deep, deep with up-and-coming talent, 
deep with other talent. And people have been there and done that. But obviously, you know, when you do those things and best and greatness rises to the top. Coach Skinner and I do have a, a history. We do have a history. So I'll, I'll beat you to that. God, he's a, he's a UMass guy, okay? I learned that near and dear when I went to UMass, okay? He's a UMass guy. Yes, he did play basketball for the Minutemen. So he is a Minuteman. And we did have time to work at Boston College. So as a young administrator, I've got to really see what he does day to day, what he's done. And I had nothing but respect for him and everything that he did at Boston College. I, obviously, I'm a New England guy, so I understood what he had done at Rhode Island. But to be on the ground and to see what he did, what he was about, what he stood for, that was a neat thing. It's always followed me. And obviously, um, I'm excited that uh, this time around that he was able to see exactly what we're going and that things were a fit at this time. You know, Coach Skinner's a lot of things. He's a man that's humble, a man that's respected, a man that does it the right way. Probably a pretty simple, pretty simple guy. He's not, he's, he's not a guy that comes with a lot of complexity. He's a guy that keeps things simple. And at the end of the day, he's a winner. He's done it at every level. He's done it at every level. So with that being said, I'm really excited. We've been having fun ever since he got in town, I think. Uh, we went to the selection show last night and, you know, for women's golf. And uh, once again, I think you're going to really, really, really enjoy what Coach Skinner can bring to the table. And I am just, just thoroughly excited, not only for Kennesaw State, not only for the basketball community, but I'm excited for basketball players. I'm excited for this basketball program because it's all about them. And I want them to play, play with passion and play the way the game's meant to be played and get the experience that they, they came here to get. And I know this person is going to give it to them. So without further ado, I want to introduce to you your head basketball coach of Kennesaw State basketball, Al Skinner. Coach, I also wanted to give him a – Coach Skinner loves hats. He loves hats, guys. That's a, that's a thing. So here you go, Coach. All right. <laughs> Actually, I'm, uh, I'm very excited about this opportunity. But uh, as, as Vaughn has indicated, uh, I do adhere to the KISS philosophy. So, uh, so that's what I'm, I'm going to do. Um, but I, I think that as I, as when Vaughn first came to Kennesaw, uh, he kind of enlightened me to what an outstanding university this is from an academic standpoint. It's, you know, it's great ed education. It's in a great location. And the university was progressing in a very positive way. Looking at that athletic programs, they have had, had some success at the Division II level, and they moved up to Division I level. A lot of the teams had had a lot of has had some success. And as he was moving forward, there's no reason that the men's basketball program can't do the same. We want to try to equal the quality of education that's here with the men's basketball program and the way we're going to perform. So I was very, and especially after visit and, 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 and reviewing, uh, I've said this a number of times, potential is a scary word for a coach because then that means you've got to fulfill it. But this university definitely has potential. The men's basketball program has potential. I had an opportunity to meet with the young men. Um, 
feel real good about them. I feel good about their attitude, the place they want to go, the efforts they're willing to make in order to improve. It doesn't always translate into W's. I'm not exactly sure what that means, how long that's going to take. But I assure you that when this is all said and done, especially with this, the team that, that, is, that is returning, that they're going to be proud about some of the efforts that they've made. They're going to help me <coughs> lie a foundation for what the future can be, for what the future of Kennesaw basketball is going to be. So there is, there's a lot to offer, and there's, but there's a lot of work to be done. There's, there are no shortcuts to this. And as I, as I said to them earlier, you know, it's the commitment that you make on a daily basis that's going to make a decision on how good we're going to be. So, I mean, again, I'm excited about this. It's a great opportunity. I appreciate uh, give, being given in this opportunity. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. You already know what I'm learning, that this is an outstanding community. You already know that. So I'm not, I'm, I'm kind of preaching to the choir here. I, you could, you could do this instead of me. I'm just happen to be the basketball coach. So, uh, but this, you know, again, this, this is, this is a wonderful thing, and I'm really excited about it. And when this is, when, and when we proceed into the season and we move ahead as we move ahead in, in years to come, uh, we're going to remember this day as the foundation of men's basketball, and these young men that are returning and are going to help us build this. Um, and we're going to have a nice foundation and be able to establish. We're going to be able to compete in this league and going to be working towards the league championship. That's what it's all about. But that being said, they're still going to get their education. They're still going to graduate. I think there's a lot that this university has to offer, and I hope that these young men take advantage of those opportunities. You know, we this community has a lot to offer, and I want them to extract as much from this community as they possibly can. But in order, <clears throat> in order to do that, we got to do our share. We got to do our part, and we will. So I look forward to it. I'm excited about it, and as time goes on, I will learn each and every one. And and but feel free to approach. Um, I'm open to whatever ideas you may have. I'll listen. I'll, I'll listen. <laughs> I'm, not exact, I'm not saying I'll do, but I'll listen. But, uh, no, but I am. I, it's, it's, this is a good time. This is a good time, and uh, we look forward to it. Thank you very much. All right. So lastly, uh, once again, another great day for Kennesaw State. I can't tell you how excited I am right now for our basketball program. To have someone of Al Skinner's uh, caliber to be here on this campus um, and to help our program get to where we believe it should be. So I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled for the journey. I'm thrilled and excited for our department, for the university, and for this community. Um, that concludes the press conference for today. And uh, once again, uh, Al Skinner and myself would take one-on-ones for the next 10, 15 minutes, and then uh, we'll proceed with the day. Thank you very much for coming, and go Owls.